Howdy YouTube. Today we're bringing you an opening of the new hobby box that was released as part of the May the 4th celebration for Star Wars. It is the Topps Chrome 2023 Star Wars release. This, uh, this set features a hundred different character cards as well as a variety of inserts, including the journey of Grogu, which shows his appearances and the variety of this series that have been showing on Disney Plus where he's been featured, as well as some Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary poster art. There are some first appearance inserts that show characters on their first appearance on screen, as well as some manga cards. And as far as parallels go, you can get base refractors and there are a variety of color refractors. They stick to the base colors in this set for the most part. So there's only aqua blue, green, gold, orange, red, and super fractors, as well as printing plates possible. So interested to see what this set looks like. So we're gonna rip and get into it. This is a, as you can see, it is a 24 by five format. They don't list the odds on the uh, packs, unfortunately, or on the box. Only mention that you get the autograph for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the packs out and just set them off to the side here. We'll just move the box out of here. And let's get started. There we have Leia, Brief, and we have Echo, and that is an aqua refractor to 199 as well as Bail Organa. We have Dark Ray. That's an interesting one. Tam Revora. And here's one of the manga cards. It's interesting. A lot of characters. Got some TIE Fighters and TIE Bombers on there, as well as the Death Star. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's leave up that insert as well. I'm sorry, these are, it's 24 by four, not by five. Yay, droids. Carson Tan. Sierra Junda and Grogu, IG-11's new programming. That's the journey of Grogu inserts, or one of them anyway. Seventh one there. Shoka, Yoda, never remember how to pronounce her name. And then we got a Grogu Refractor. This is the Monikers one. And the moniker of Kid. I'm surprised they didn't call it Baby Yoda, but obviously not in the show.
We got Admiral Akbar, Bill Organa again. That's interesting. Let's see what that is. As well as a Ketsu. So this is part of the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary posters. Not quite what I was expecting there, but still fairly neat looking card. DJ, it's a Ray, Kanan, and Grief again. Kazuda, Count Dooku. And another Grogu, this time in class. I does not want to go in there. There's a Poe. Everybody's favorite, Jar Jar. Followed by Luke. And another Grogu. So this uh, Journey of Grogu set seems to be pretty frequent as far as the inserts go. That's three of those so far and we're not even halfway through the box. There are 20 of them, so makes sense that that's probably the easiest one to get. General Hux, Omega, Tuscan Chief. It's unfortunate that they don't even give the guy a name. Old Lando. Oops, almost pulled through there. The Mandalorian, the Grand Inquisitor, Migs, and Refractor of Tanti. There's an interesting looking Darth Vader card. Zoom in on that, so. R2 and another Grogu. It's kind of a weird uh, description there, the Mandalorian and his allies to the rescue and it's just a shot of sad looking Grogu. Let's see what this, uh, got a blue here. This should be numbered to 150, and it is. Oh, this is our autograph. Sir Junda. Eight of 150. We got a refractor autograph. Go ahead and sleeve that one up and top load it.
Not the autograph necessarily looking for, but still. Uh, need that it's a refractor version. Grease. Bucket. Jarek. And a monikers, the chosen one. That's halfway through the box. Let's keep going here. Got a Zeb. Ned B. Obi Wan. And another Grogu. This one. Interesting. This, one, this card feels thicker, and there's a weird sort of a print defect right there. Not sure why that one feels thicker than all the other cards. Just a refractor. Another Cassian. Galen Urso. Another Ketsu. And the Shmi Skywalker. There's a Hira. Mace Windu. It's too bad they don't do a uh, purple parallel. That would look really cool in a purple. But. Another Shmi and Babu Frick. The BB-8. Kylo Ren. The base version of Babu. And another Grogu. This one on his encounter with Moff Gideon. Echo, Crosshair, another one of the Manga Madness, and a Monikers of Chewbacca. That one's a really neat looking card. Just about done with the box here so far. What do you think of the set? Do you like the looks of this? How do you compare it to some of the other Tops releases like Galaxy? There's a base Grogu. Cobb Vanth. Owen Lars. And a Crosshair Refractor. Mean Nub. Oh, Cal Kestis. Wasn't exactly expecting to see that in there, but that's neat. Another manga. From like the Battle of Hoth. An interesting one. And another Grogu here. Nick Shand, Supreme Leader Snoke, not the most flattering pitcher. Aja Estri, I didn't even realize what his name was in the show, but it's good to know. Cam Revora, Refractor there.
So Padme. Delicious bee crub. On Mothma and Sear Junda Refractor. We got the refractor and the parallel autograph refractor. Niku. There's a Chewy. Wagon. And IG11's new programming. Like the uh, facial expression there. Two packs left. Zero. Luthen. Zori. And an upside down monikers. Kylo Ren. Leader of the Knights of Ren. Sounds more like a title than a moniker, but. Last pack here. See if we can pull one more numbered parallel or something interesting here. Jin Urso. There's Young Han Solo. Lando and. Refractor of Quira. Give me one second and we'll be right back to do a full recap of the box. Okay, we're back. Going to do a quick recap of this uh, 2023 Topps Chrome Star Wars box. So we're going to take a look. We'll start off here with the inserts that we received. We only got one of the... Um, Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary posters. We did not receive any of the first appearance cards, so I don't know if they're more uniquely rare, uh, but we didn't receive any of those. We did get three of the manga cards. All of them featuring Luke, oddly enough. Then for the monikers, we got four of these. And then for the Grogu inserts, we got eight of those, but unfortunately, out of a set of 20, we did get two duplicates. So the collation there could be a little bit better. Got 12 base refractors, a variety of base cards, and then our two numbered parallels that came in. Got this Echo, and this is the Aqua to 199. And then our other was also our autograph of Sierra Junda. And that is the blue to 150. Nice looking card. I don't know if that means that in uh, your average box, if you're only going to get two numbered inserts, uh, if a autograph would take up a different spot normally. But since we got a numbered uh, parallel version or a refractor, that means that we got one less numbered card or one less hit, I should say. So I'm not quite sure how that works. I haven't seen a lot of these boxes ripped yet, so I'm not really sure how the how the sorting and the correlation goes. We just it, the boxes are only guaranteed one autograph. They don't give you odds outside of that as far as how many uh, refractors you're going to get, other than the base refractors or one every two packs, which. 24 packs, we got 12 of them, that's accurate, but they don't give you much in the way of odds on the numbered cards or the inserts. So uh, your guess is as good as mine as far as what you might get if you decide to rip a box of this. They're currently going for $150 on Topps website. Uh, secondary market, I've seen them as high as 175, but I don't know why you would wanna pay that while you can still get it on Topps site. So uh, let, let me know what you think. If you're gonna rip some, post the comments, let us know what you get. Uh, personally, I think this is pretty comparable to the Galaxy set. I think I probably lean toward liking Galaxy more as far as the base cards, but I do like the inserts in this set better. 
So a little mix and match over which of the uh, Topps Chrome sets this year is better in my, my opinion. So if you like the more realistic, uh, this, this set may be more for you. If you like the more animated style and, and drawn cards, the Galaxy set probably fits that fancy a little bit better. But let us know what you think. And if you don't mind, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and a subscribe, ring the notification bell so you can get alerted to new videos that we post. And we'll be bringing you more content soon. Thanks for watching.